From the leader, Cool Trade, who came off the riverside of the track with 550 to go. Still a length and a half in front. Pike pushing up Ideal Image, getting out now underneath the neck of the tiring Bunlert. And then three deep, Dancing Express, vital importance, four wide. Cool Trade still going pretty comfortably, staying away from the rail at the top of the straight. He's come out about four horses from the fence to lead Ideal Image and Vampy Lass running to third. Down the outside, vital importance from Dancing Express, Fashion Princess, Keysbrook. Cool Trade showing the persuader as Ideal Image now draws level. Ideal Image. Pike went for the whip as well. Got ahead in front of Cool Trade. All interest in the miners. Ideal Image too good. She's coming away. And Ideal Image won the jungle. Dawn from... Well, we said that we thought we'd have a, a couple of chats throughout today and now we've had our second. She's just a genuine type, isn't she? Always puts in an honest performance. Yeah, she's, uh, she's come back really well this time. Uh, she had a good time as a three-year-old and now she's coming back, which is good. The run last start was obviously in a very good field as well with the likes of Shidell at a hot tempo. And today things had to be a little bit different, but she was able to, to plug away and then probably do her best work in the last hundred. Oh, it was a very good run last start. If you looked at it, she ran 33-3-2, I think. She was only a couple of lengths from Shidell at the top of the straight and she just couldn't run her down. You know, it's very unusual when you, don't, when you run that time and you can't win. As we mentioned, she just appears so genuine. The 16 to 1800 metres looks to be ideal for her moving forward. Uh, well, that's the next step. These mares race jumps to, to what is it, today's 14. Yeah, it'll be 16 and then an 18, so we'll see what happens. Coming up in the next shining night in Silverstream, two different horses at different stages of their career, but both as exciting uh, as well, and I'm sure you'll be looking forward to seeing them go head-to-head -head as well. Yeah, hopefully uh, I am. It's, uh, they wouldn't be, I doubt if they'll be going head-to-head, but uh, probably it's the wrong distance for uh, Silverstream. Uh, but you never know, and it's a stakes race, and she's here. With plenty of speed in the race, they might just be suited. Congratulations, Bob. Thank you. Yeah, another victory there by Ideal Image, and that was an impressive one as well. Yeah, it was a good effort. Um, cool trades, no slouch. Yeah, hard to get past a horse like that. And those, that's the point from these two runs, isn't it, so far? Shidel in the first, Cool Trade here. She's come up against some pretty handy types. Yeah, absolutely, and, and uh, ran well and, and was always, yeah, she's back to first up effort uh, really well. Running up now is at the 1,600 metres uh, next up. Will that suit her, do you think, more than the 14 today? Um, we'll see after the race. Silverstream in the next, obviously, Bob was alluding to there, that may be not the ideal distance, but with a lot of speed in the race, she should be flying home late. Yeah, well, it's, is it one of those days? Are they going to fly home? I don't know. Um, yeah, sticky, sort of, one, you know, a low barrier was great when the fields come out, probably not quite so good as the conditions are panning out, but uh, she's a very nice horse and uh, yeah, she will be, she'll be in the mix there somewhere. That's why connections choose you, mate. You've got some hard decisions to make, but I'm sure you'll be making the right ones. Best of luck in the next. Yeah, cheers. Thanks.